Hey, hi. I'm Mona. If you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. <clears throat> I'm going to do a cardomancy reading, okay? Just going to see what's happening. Just a kind of a quick one because, you know, uploads are slow here. Uh, we're going to use a Kipper deck, and then we're going to use, um, what is this called? The Majesty deck by Bicycle. So we're going to start out with the Kipper deck. Let's just see what comes out with the Kipper deck, right? Usually I take three, but let's just see what pops out, like, for... You know, a couple, couple rounds here. All right, see what's going on. See what can come up with something. Or actually, shoot, maybe that's enough. No, nah, let me do one more. Let's see what comes out, right? Kind of stuff. Kind of drama. Drama for your mama. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's a lot of cards. Let's see what they say. I'm going to start from the bo bottom and work my way up. Pathway. So somebody might be on a new pathway. Yeah, right? We also have poverty. Okay. So this is not very nice sounding, but it could be that somebody's on a pathway leading to, it could be, it doesn't have to be, it could be leading to poverty. Let's see. Let me put some couple cards. Out. Oh, in the courthouse. Privileged lady. Coffin. Okay. <clears throat> well, so far what I'm seeing here is somebody might be on a pathway. They're going far, though. They're coming from a distance. There's somebody that is on a pathway. Okay. Somebody's on a pathway. It took them a long time to get there, right? Could be talking to a, a privileged lady right now. You could be this privileged lady right now. You may have started a pathway that you, it took you a really long time to get to where you are today. You could have started out in poverty and became this privileged lady. But I do see that there's something involved with this courthouse here and this coffin. So there might have been a death in the family. I see this man holding these documents. Maybe this is uh, documents of a will and testament or something like that. But, you know, this is after the fact that you have become this privileged lady. So this might be something that might happen in the future. Let's see what else. Oh, the room. So we also have this, uh, this guy here. You see him? He's concerned. He's concerned about something uh, involving this privileged lady and the pathway she took, because it took her a long time to get to where she's at, right? You know, this is a story, you guys, just whatever resonates. If it sounds like something you went through, you know, then, you know, you know, it is what it is. Okay. But if that's the case, somebody here is worried that somebody is making, has made it through some sort of pathway. Somebody took their own journey right? And it took them a long time to get to where they're at. They might have traveled far and wide or whatever they did, but it was their own specific pathway. Like they were guided on this path. Also, and, and so somebody here might be concerned about that. Like, oh, they made it or something. That's what I'm getting. I'm kind of getting that someone's like thinking about, whoa, I didn't think that they would get this far, right? That's what they're thinking. They seen somebody take a pathway and in the beginning, that pathway was leading to poverty. So everybody thought this person was gonna have some sort of poverty, end up in court with problems and all these things. But in actuality, you know, somebody pulled themselves out of poverty and became a privileged lady male or female take no no this is not male or female because the cards come out male and female so this is for sure privileged lady she pulled herself out of poverty right oh gosh i just got a weird thought somebody may have uh falsified some documents in regards to a death in the family not something I was boiling some potatoes. That was that sound in the background, you guys. <laughs> so, so somebody could have falsified some documents about somebody being dead, like somebody passing away. They could have even said it was this privileged lady. 
And they might have said that because this privileged lady was nowhere to be found. She was somewhere on a distant horizon on her own pathway. And now somebody is concerned here because somebody may get in trouble for doing that. Falsifying documents. Ooh, that's not very good. And then we have this official person. And this official person goes right here under the privileged lady. Privileged lady might meet an official person. Somebody that may, uh, you know, I don't know. It, it's because you see this person, it looks like he's a decorated somebody. You know what I mean? Military. Could it could be anybody. Military, firefighter, law enforcement, uh, an official, you know, somebody of, of, you know, official person, right? Um, so we have somebody concerned here that somebody made it through some sort of pathway. And it could be that this person is concerned because they might be coming back. They might be coming back. So now someone's worried because somebody may have falsified some documents in regards to a death. A death in regards to this privileged lady who actually pulled herself out of poverty. Everybody thought she was going to be stuck in poverty. It looks like she healed herself. Somebody here kind of resonates nicely with me. It might resonate nicely with someone out there too. This privileged lady could have met uh, a privileged uh, individual or, uh, I mean, sorry, an official person. <coughs> Brian is so much drama. Let me just take a peek, you guys. Yeah, no, it's nothing. He's drama doggy. <laughs> All right. And so now I see, oh, I didn't look at the last card. Look, despair. So whoever falsified some sort of documents in regards to a passing of an individual, they are going to be in despair. Why? Because they were found out. Somebody found some documents with some falsified, maybe somebody uh, falsified some information or a signature or something like that. Wow, this is Drama City right here. Drama City, right? I don't know that this part resonated with me. But, you know, finding a path and pulling myself out of poverty, that part resonate. But this other stuff, something might be happening to somebody out there. You might want to, you know, check your, your courts and, and your doc. I don't know. I don't know. It might just even come to you. Or somebody might just get in trouble and you might find out that this is what happened. Yeah, let's look at these numbers. 35 reduces down to the number 8. These are numbers that are going to, might may or may not resonate. We have the number eight, number 35. We have number 11, number 37. 23, also number five. 36 and nine. 12 and three. 19 and 10. 33, 22, 32, and once again, there's five. I wanna bring attention to these two cards right here. There's 32 and 23. Those are both fives. So something's going to change in this situation in regards to this paperwork and this death or, or something that somebody's falsifying documents over or something like that. <clears throat> I hate to pull out so many of these because uh, then I can't, like, if I need to refer back to them, it's hard to see them. But I can do this. Well, let's try to do it. We've got a big story so far. I hope, I'm going to try to make this quick because you guys know the uploads are good right here. So just bear with me, you guys. Okay, I'm trying to go as quickly as possible. I just had the hankering to do the cardamancy, though. I just want to make sure I see all the words here. Uh, and so that's why we're doing the cardamancy today. Let me make sure you guys can see everything still. Okay. <clears throat> Like I said, this is the uh, Bicycle uh, Majesty deck. These are all pre-shuffled also. Let's go ahead and grab one uh, card for energy. The King of Swords. This also doubles as the Emperor. So somebody here is Emperor Energy. Could be this official person. Just saw that. So this official person, uh, we could be actually uh thinking about that guy whoever this official person is this reading could be about a king of swords 
They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart. It doesn't have to be, uh, but you know that's that's the energy here. Um, the king, king of Swords is very intelligent, right? Uh, this person thinks things through, but sometimes has a tendency of overthinking, right? If he's in the reverse, though, not very intelligent, doesn't think things through, makes hasty decisions, all right? So we're going to keep him in the upright, though, because we like the guy in the upright. <laughs> Even though he does tend to overthink, but sometimes that overthinking benefits him, so. All right. We're just going to read, 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 okay? Telling what's going on for this King of Swords, official person, privileged lady, and this pathway. So somebody's going to need to make a choice here. It could be this King of Swords. He wants to think about something in regards to some sort of failed attempt or failed situation that in his life. Um, yeah, something ended in this person's life that they don't want to end. No. This, they failed at something. Somebody tried to do something and they failed miserably. The thing is, is, you know, when you fail at things, you try again. But there's something different about this. If it's involving, you know, shadiness, it's involved shadiness, you know, somebody, somebody may have cut somebody out of their life, out of all these people. Um, but somebody in this group, they want to resurrect whatever ended, right? Somebody here is going to come back and tell the truth about something that happened. And it could be in regards to that paperwork, the poverty or the courthouse, or this message of concern, or this concern, right? Because we have the Knight of Swords here. He's, he's just looking. He's just looking over there. And so is the King of Swords. So the Kipper, the Kipper deck said some stuff that is... These two cars, you know, they're looking at him. There's going to be, there could possibly be some despair uh, ahead for somebody for not doing the right thing. Somebody uh, is, is being defensive, and this is why they can't make a decision right now, because they don't know the whole truth about the situation that's going on. They don't really, you know, know. Um, the person, though, that wants... Um, to resurrect whatever they failed at, that person has actually been working on themselves. Um, when they failed, it was it was due to so whatever they were doing, this failure, it had to do with communication. Somebody failed whatever they said or were talking with people or what you know. It could have been um, somebody was trying to deter somebody from having success. And, and trying to end a situation because um, of some reason. And it could be the privileged late. Oh, remember, we saw poverty. Yeah, I see it now, too. Somebody here could have been defensive, saying that somebody was, like, in poverty, you know, something like that. People were, this person was in despair or something. <laughs> so funny. Somebody was in despair, but then it ended up that whoever was talking all that smack, <laughs> they failed at whatever they were talking about because others started talking about this. And the person who they were communicating with, they, they found this out that this person is defensive over an individual which could be the privileged lady because she seems the one seems to be the one who is was the the main focus here somebody could have had problems with that person became defensive with them and decided to do something to maybe sabotage this privileged lady from possibly meeting an emperor or becoming an emperor because you know male female energy can a female can be an emperor energy. So it's something like that. Somebody wanted to deter a person from success. And they did that through slander, talking, communication, maybe saying things to other people, right? So now this person realized what happened. This king of swords, you know, if it's a separate person, realized what happened, this emperor energy. And they want to resurrect the situation with the privileged lady. 
They've also been working on themselves. Eight of Pentacles is about working on your craft, right? This is about working on yourself, doing it yourself, though. There's no one else involved there. When you're working on yourself, you're working on yourself, right? When you want to practice something you do, you practice by yourself, right? Yeah. So somebody was working on themselves to fix something. And they want to come back and tell the truth about this situation that happened. Because... So they're going to say that somebody here really does not like another person. So somebody could have hatred or disdain for another person. Oh, look, possibly for a single lady, somebody who is abundant, who can take care of herself. This person may have been heartbroken in the past, and that's why they're picking on her. Queen of Cups. Uh, that's Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This person could have that in her chart. And that's why they might have picked on her, because they thought she was a very sensitive, heartbroken, single lady. She was a target. Somebody here was a target. We have the Eight of Swords here. They try to keep her stuck. And who? It was a third party. So there might be have been several people involved. Mm, that's not very nice. That's not very nice at all, you guys. So, what else? All right, so this person we're talking about here who might come back, who's who's going to be like, wants to resurrect whatever, is a King of Wands, could be uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you know? King of Wands could also be this person, because the Emperor is Aries. So we could be talking about somebody who's got Aries in their chart, specifically. Also, um... The, the failure that happened here in regards to this communication, this backlash, this um, slander or whatever they were talking about, this person, this person was also involved in that talk, this King of Swords. Yeah, he's looking over here. He's, he was also involved in that slander and talking about the privileged lady. Okay, so that's terrible. That's just terrible. So we have somebody here. Uh, they, they failed because somebody walked away after they heard all this nonsense right yeah it was the queen of cups they tried to uh and they could have even they tried to make this person to not be so loving and caring and intuitive and they tried to really throw this person off they possibly wanted to put this person in poverty and in despair because we got the queen of cups in reverse here so this aries may have tried to do that to this person right they may have and 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 you know they might want to come back because they might want to say you know oh i'm sorry because maybe they feel bad that this person is now queen of cups in the reverse right this is what they might possibly think but i'll be honest with you this story is about a privileged lady right so it can't be her so this could also be that this king of wands was involved with the queen of cups in reverse i'll tell you what the queen of cups in the upright she is the empress we saw her earlier when i was looking through the deck so somebody here is an empress but we also have a a, a woman here who is not an empress but this is still the empress in reverse queen of cups reverse and that energy is only there by default because this person may have been involved with an emperor who was in the upright, right? But this emperor could also be reversed because this one is a 50-50 too. So we got somebody here. They're not all together. We could have somebody here who's got that kind of like a multiple personality. Like sometimes they're happy, sometimes they're sad. They're, you know, like they, they need some adjustment there in their mental state or something. I don't know. Um, but we got somebody here who's not all together. Uh, we got the Nine of Swords. Look at that. Somebody can't sleep at night because of this whole problem that's going on here. And it could be that paperwork, that court, that signing of paperwork saying that, oh, this person passed away. Maybe somebody, yeah, it doesn't look good, you guys. Let me see what time we got here. Oh, where is it? 19? Let me wrap this up, okay? Because I don't want to get, I can't go too long. Tell me, tell me, uh... Tell me what this person going to tell this privileged lady when they come and approach this Queen of Cups uh, Empress, the upright. Oh, see, it fell over there, right where the privileged lady's at. This person's going to come and express some sort of disdain about a situation. Either what they did, either what they did in regards to, like, this hate. 
somebody's going to talk about some sort of hate. That's what the, that's the truth that they want to, that's the message that they want to bring in hate. Uh, and the hate comes from somebody from this person's past. And it's a can, uh, no, sorry. It is a, uh, Capricorn, uh, Taurus or Virgo. So somebody with this in their chart. So we got a lot of people here involved, a lot of people doing wrong, a lot of people, uh, possibly trying to hurt another person, put them in poverty and despair. We also have other people falsifying documents in regards to somebody's passing. And there's also uh, some issues that, you know, they got to go, to have to go to court. We also have a king of uh, swords over there and he's an emperor. He could be worried about all this stuff happening because he could be involved here. Uh, also, and this official person could be somebody who's investigating all this. So this could be a police officer, a detective or something like that could be actually um, checking what all this is, you know, like there could be somebody investigating all this. That's how serious this is. Yeah. So at the bottom of the deck, nine of cups, somebody will receive wish fulfillment though. Somebody's going to make an offer to somebody and they could be celebrated about this. It could be uh, an offer to a queen of wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Somebody wants to create stability with this person. That sounds nice. Whoever that is. Anyways, if it resonated, you guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, keep it true love energy. Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear. As long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. And I'll talk to you next time.